The Primist presents How Spain is Turning Its Deserts into a Farmland Oasis. Climate change has a wide-ranging influence on many different domains. Up to 75% of Spain is in danger of becoming a desert. The danger is greatest in the country's south. Some parts of Spain are becoming deserted. One-fifth of the region is presently at risk of becoming a desert. Desertification has already affected 31.5% of the land. Over-irrigation of rice fields and olive trees has resulted in serious water shortages in areas of the Guadalquivir River Basin for many years. Suppose sea levels rise and salt in the water mixes with it. In that case, the problem of water shortages and land loss in coastal areas may exacerbate. Forest fires, soil fertility loss from irrigated land owing to salinization, and erosion are currently the primary causes of desertification. Climate change will reduce soil productivity by removing carbon, making it less productive. The Mediterranean area is one of the most sensitive to land degradation due to climate conditions. The European Union's 27 member countries opted to abide by the 1992 United Nations Convention on Combating Desertification signed in 1992. If carbon emissions continue unabated, Madrid's climate will be more like modern-day Marrakesh by 2050. If the world does not band together to curb CO2 emissions over the next 11 years, the point of no return, the planet may be 2 to 2.5 degrees hotter within a few decades. The average temperature in Madrid would climb by 2.1 degrees Celsius in that scenario with maximum temperatures soaring by 6.4 degrees Celsius. According to European environmental agency specialists, the worst climatic scenarios indicate that precipitation in portions of Spain might decline by more than 40% during the summer months by the end of the century, resulting in more extended and severe droughts over the Iberian Peninsula, and with at least 74% of Spain at risk of desertification. According to official 2008 estimates, agriculture, for example, threatens to ruin enormous areas of the earth when it becomes unsustainable on dry, vulnerable terrain. According to the United Nations, the world loses 24 billion tons of healthy soil each year. An estimated 1% of the country's soils are already infertile, while another 20% of the country's lands have badly deteriorated. In fact, 75% of the overall land area is so arid that it might become a desert in a few decades. The Spanish have adopted a variety of initiatives to address the issue. As temperatures rise and fertile land erodes, the desert advances across Almeria, Granada, and Murcia. Spain is likewise constructing a wall to protect itself from climate change. A public initiative just planted 50,000 trees to prevent erosion and wasting of rich land. This green blanket is essential for holding water and filtering it into the soil. Keeping everything wet is critical for the regions in an area where the yearly rainfall is just 200 millimeters per square meter. Farmers, business people, and cattle ranchers have launched an initiative to combat desertification urgently needed. Farmers let weeds grow under their orchard trees, which keeps the land green and serves as a cattle pasture. By limiting plowing, the soil retains its moisture and organic content. Alvalal, an eco-business organization, decided to put a five-year-old initiative to reverse and even prevent land degradation to the test. Local farmers renew the capacity of their lands via regenerative agriculture, which employs ancient agricultural traditions that have been adapted to modern needs and situations. Commonwealth, a Dutch non-governmental organization that has successfully implemented comparable projects in South Africa and Australia, supports the research. According to Almeria University, the organic content of the soil in agricultural districts of Almeria and Granada ranges from 0.38 to 1.5%, much below the 1.5% organic matter threshold common in dry terrain. Like grass and other leguminous plants, the plants may help combat climate change by absorbing carbon dioxide from the air. The group aspires to repair a whopping 1 million hectares of land. Scientists in southern Spain are being assisted by a high-flying piece of equipment. To prevent the march of desertification and restore biodiversity in the region, a new drone tree planting operation is being initiated. The seed-dropping drone disperses various tree and plant species across the Granada, Almeria, and Murcia regions. According to experts, 
these regions used to be green hundreds of years ago. Nonetheless, due to human meddling, the vegetation has been diminished. These methods will undoubtedly transform Spain's deserts into a farming paradise. Spain is home to 54% of all plant and animal species in Europe. It produces 14% of the fruits and vegetables eaten on the continent. Europe's food security is directly linked to Spain's land and water resources. Nonetheless, Spain is nearing its ecological limits. Exports of Spanish agro-food and fishery items reached a new high of 53,848 million euros in 2020, reflecting a staggering 4.1% increase over the previous year. The fruit category accounted for the lion's share of overall exports, with 9.57 billion euros. The meat came in second place, selling for a total of 8,436 million euros. It was the subsector with the greatest growth in sales, with a 17.8% gain due to rising demand from Chinese customers. Vegetables were the third most exported category, accounting for 6,890 million euros, a 3.1% increase over the previous year's total and a comparable value. Spain may also use Israeli practices like drip irrigation, which saves 6% of water and boosts agricultural production and constructing aqueducts and sinking deep boreholes to acquire water. Spain may also manage water availability professionally by charging for continuous freshwater delivery. It will help them create more water infrastructure and promote the notion of water conservation in public. What further steps do you think Spain should take in its fight against desertification? Do let us know in the comments below. If you like this video, do give a thumbs up to this video. Also, subscribe and hit the notification bell for more exciting videos like this. Till next time, peace!